finished. Ta- he said, it is finished. What was finished? Your sins were finished. Is that it's like it's like something you know you have you when you're growing up you put away toys it's I don't need this anymore I outgrew this well a child of God you're supposed to be putting away things from the past. It's the middle of April, which is not a favorite time for most of us because this is tax time. But in the biblical Hebrew calendar, we're in a special period of the year, the days between the feast of Passover and the Feast of Shavuot, which is also called Pentecost. And this time is known as the Days of the Omer, or the Counting of the Omer, from the day of Passover, the first day of the morning after the first fruit, which comes. Then every day they count, it's the harvest, they count the sheaves every day until you reach 50 with the time of Pentecost. But there's another realm to these days, and that is on the calendar of redemption. These are also the days of the Exodus, beginning with Passover and reaching a culmination on Mount Sinai. Now, Passover, the feast of Passover, is the beginning of the Exodus. Shavuot, the next feast, or Pentecost, corresponds with Mount Sinai, when the law was given on Mount Sinai. And so this is the time of the journeying out of Egypt, leaving the old world, and heading to what God had for them. Now Messiah died on Passover as the Lamb to give us the power of Passover, salvation and the power of Passover. And one of the most critical powers of Passover in Messiah is the power of exodus or exiting, leaving, departing breaking through, breakthrough, one of the most important powers in your life. And tonight we're going to look at the keys of leaving, of exodus, of breakthrough in your life and finding them in just one verse and that's going to be in Psalm 37 and verse, going to show you how powerful the Bible is, just one verse and it's not a long one and we're going to break it up and see keys for your life. Psalm 37, the first part simply says, Depart from evil. Now, you say, well, I'm not an evildoer. Well, in order to depart from evil, you have to kind of some way be in it. The Bible says if we are not without, we say we're without sin, we are liars. No matter who you are, you are called to leave sin, no matter who you are. I remember once when I was, uh, I was, there was a denomination and I was studying and, and uh, because Beth Israel was linked to that and, and they, they, they asked me questions at the board and they, they said, uh, you know, have you have any spiritual failings? I said, well, no, except for the normal falling short, you know. I said, well, what do you mean by that? I said, well, you know, regular sin, you know. Uh, they said, well, well, you know, and I, I said, well, they said, well, uh, I said, well, the Bible says if we say we're without sin, we're lying. You know, they said, well, that's for unbelievers. I said, wow. I said, what is this doctrine the do- that we don't have sin anymore? Of course we deal with sin, no matter who you are. And so you're called to make a, to be able to, to be leaving it for your life. And there's a, there's a power in, of departing, of leaving, it, that's crucial in your life. Abraham, who's the father of all the faithful, how did he fulfill his calling? By departing, by leaving, by exiting Ur and exiting Haran. And you are Abraham's children, so it is, a, it is crucial for you to be leaving something. Not just once when you get born again, but every day of your life. I remember, I don't know how, anybody remember how being in at nursery school? I remember being in nursery school, okay? A one-room schoolhouse. And I was being told they were talking about the real school. And it was like, I remember one of the kids was going early to the real school. And he was going into kindergarten. And to me back then, it was like, whoa, this is serious stuff. You're going to kindergarten. It was like, you're going to the academy. You're going to the thing. I remember that. Such a big thing. But in order to go to kindergarten, you had to leave nursery school. In order to go to first grade, you had to leave kindergarten. In order to go to to junior high, you had to leave elementary school. And, And then high school and on and on. Our life is linked, you know, is filled with leavings in order to grow. So in the Lord, many of his children get left back. Because we're not really, the only way to graduate to the next level is we have to leave something in our life. How to depart in our life. The word in Hebrew here, it says depart from evil. Is the, the Hebrew word for depart here is the word easy, soar. Try it. Soar. 
Easy. You use it in English. I feel sore. Well, that means depart in Hebrew. Sore literally means past. It's past. So there's a truth that in the cross, your sin is past. It's considered past by God. In, 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 in a way with God, it's considered truly finished. And the thing is that if you believe you're still, it's still active in there, you're going to keep living in it. It's like in, in after World War II, there were Japanese soldiers who were living in caves and they were still fighting the war years after the war was over because they didn't know it was over. It was finished. The Bible asks, how can you still be living in sin if sin, you've died to that, that's over in Messiah? One of the keys for breakthrough is to view evil as something old in your life. Not something that's supposed to be here. Finished. Ta he said, it is finished. What was finished? Your sins were finished. It's, it's, like, it's like something, you know, you have, you, when you're growing up, you put away toys. It's, I don't need this anymore. I outgrew this. Well, a child of God, you're supposed to be putting away things from the past. Sin is out. Sin is not to be a, 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 an active thing. It's supposed to be a past thing. It's almost like, you know, when you sometimes you get a, if you get injected with a vaccine, many times it's, it's an old, it's the disease that has been neutralized. It's past. And that actually it can inoculate you. Well, sin, you know, we're supposed to have past sin and we're going to be continually passing out of sin. The scripture says to put away these things. It's gone. It, the time is enough. It's over. Why are you living in something that has been finished by God? You got to believe that. Now listen, the only sins you commit, you can commit. Now, in the Lord, are crucified sins. The only ones. You got to see it as this is dead. I have, there's, no, there's no future in it. There's nothing. It's not there for me anymore. This is past. It says crucify your flesh. How? By viewing it as God says it's already crucified. And I'm, I'm, my part is to get aligned with his, his word. His word says it. Reckon this as dead because it is dead. And I don't want to live in what's dead. How do you get past living in the self? Well, you see the self, the old self is past. That's why it's called an old self. The Hebrew word sore also means to decline. It could be read decline sin and decline evil. Turn it down. You've got the power in God. You may not think you do, but you've got the power to turn down any sin in God's power. Like Joseph, he declined sin in Egypt. Messiah in the wilderness had a decline sin. The apostles were offered money for the Holy Spirit. They turned, we said, we don't need that junk. Turn it, we turned it down. But you have to believe that you have the power that God says you have. That's why we have the power to decline because we also have something better. The word sore, where it says to depart from evil, also means put away. In Joshua, the word is used to say they put away the gods of their fathers. That word put away you know, it means a conscious putting out of your life. You've got the power. I remember when I came to the Lord, there were things I had to literally, physical objects, I said, this has no more place in my life. You know, certain albums had no more place. Magazines, no more place. You know, you know the, the, we have the power and sometimes you have to physically put something away. This is Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for watching. The Josiah Manifesto and all my books you can get anywhere, Amazon, wherever books are sold. Shalom.